I'm just recording um, the flag uh, today, uh, Sunday the 4th of um, March 2012 and um, I'll be taking some videos outside around in the area um, and just explain uh, just where our office is um, in um, uh, downtown uh, waterfront Auckland City and uh, it's a beautiful day today so it's nice clear skies up there and uh, not a, uh, a cloud in the sky and not a chem trail anywhere and so I'll just uh, show you our flag uh, this is the um, 1835 Declaration of Independence flag um, um, Maori uh, sovereign nation state uh, that uh, we'll be taking to the United Nations soon uh, with um, Sue Nakora, Prime Minister of the Maori Government and the Confederation of Chiefs um, going from Waitangi uh, to Te Marae uh, up in uh, the Bay of Islands, New Zealand. So it's going to be an exciting time and changes uh, to this country uh, uh, which is um, not uh, showing very much promise uh, for people living here um, who haven't got control over their uh, own um, um, money situation and so we'll be um, um, introducing our own uh, currency uh, Maori government, uh, Maori bank and also we'll, uh, we'll be introducing uh, Maui crown uh, state sovereign uh, that is the uh, Pacific uh, um, Ring of Fire uh, Ngātua Ewa Aotea uh, which is the uh, New Zealand Pacific Islands uh, Polynesian uh, people and founded by Tahitian uh, this country uh, with Maui statue it's an old old history that I'm writing up now and you'll find it on our website our new website um, soon so uh, search us out and uh, see um, graphic uh, detail and uh, uh, substance in our um, titles uh, to this country now we'll be um, uh, hauling in the government in uh, Wellington uh, to um, explain themselves, uh, John Key, why he didn't um, uh, reply to uh, Sunakura, Prime Minister. Um, um, where does he get his authority from to govern this country, New Zealand, when we, uh, we have ours from Westminster uh, Parliament uh, in our England, this flag. Uh, given by um, King William the uh, Fourth, uh, paternal DNA title to this country was male line only, and that uh, went for Britain as well, uh, England. They have male only titles to their land. That means it can't be transferred uh, out of the uh, ownership of the uh, original uh, people of the land, and so that applies here too. We're going back to our own. Tikanga Maui law, not the Tikanga Maori law, that's been fabricated, it's been um, uh, corrupted uh, and used by the government in Wellington uh, and their company, Her Majesty the Queen of Right in New Zealand, uh, offshore company by the way, and it has no uh, jurisdiction as much as this flag um, uh, which is a covenant uh, between uh, the Maori Hapu chiefs uh, at Waitangi and um, the uh, government of England. Uh, through the Westminster Parliament and um, King William uh, the fourth. So I'm just uh, letting the wind blow the flag around. It's a uh, special, special day uh, for us uh, today. Uh, the beginning of our um, uh, next week uh, when we uh, start to gather together uh, for our, um, our Maori government uh, and. Um, our economy and everything that's going to happen soon uh, when we go to the United Nations. I just wanted to show you uh, what it's like outside. As you can see the blue sky and you can see that's the uh, sky tower just in the distance there you see in the middle. Uh, you can see the um, uh, top of the sky tower there. And you can go right around. This is uh, in the afternoon about 3 o'clock. Uh, this is what it looks like in New Zealand and the sun god Ra, he's up there he's going across to the west and um, you can see him up there, we won't go too far 
but I'm just saying uh, from here it's a beautiful view and uh, that's the go the restaurant uh, that makes a lot of noise at night time but it's pretty soundproof in here a new building there I just want to go and uh, video it soon uh, just to let you see earthquake proof this is all on reclaimed land here by the way and I'm investigating the titles uh, for the Maori government here, all these land titles and also the 61 Cook Street, uh, these reclaimed lands uh, on the sea beds. This is also all sea here and uh, so, uh, yes, so I just wanted to let you see um, uh, just what it is like on a beautiful day uh, in Auckland, New Zealand and I just wanted to come in the front here and just um, talk to you from here uh, and hi, uh, John here. <coughs> it's been a beautiful day today. I'll just um, explain this flag here uh, to you uh, and um, the significance of it uh, as we go into our new uh, new uh, um, dimension uh, as far as the Polynesian world here in the South Pacific. Uh, Pacific is concerned. We are uh, entering a new phase here and going uh, to take back our Tinoranga Teratanga and our um, independence uh, that was given to us in um, 1835 uh, by King William uh, IV. And um, thank you very much uh, for your time today to watch this video and um, uh, just a little bit of history. I'll be going out um, outside to uh, take some more. Uh, videos uh, since it's a nice sunny day uh, here in Auckland, New Zealand. Uh, and I've been talking to the Prime Minister today, uh, Sunakora, and uh, she's been talking with uh, Kingi Taurua, the chief of um, uh, Titi Marae up at Waitangi, uh, where we base our authority uh, to Westminster uh, from there uh, over this country and um, seize on the titles and um, administer this land ourselves. And this is the beginning of the uh, indigenous people of the world uh, watching this video that um, we are starting off um, uh, that process of um, uh, reclaiming our land and our uh, titles. Uh, so um, I must say it's a beautiful day today here in uh, New Zealand and uh, we'll see you again soon. Thank you.